Well, anyway, I'm recording now, so okay. um, you've both seen my film. Um, what did and didn't you like about my film? Uh, I quite like the aesthetic of the whole black and white in his mind palace type of thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a good decision. Yeah, yeah, uh, I quite like that. I like the. Um, I, I talked about this in the room. It was the um, effect that you used to hide all of your uh, editing mistakes and stuff like that. I thought that was reasonably <laughs> clever of you to do that because uh, this is something that I would not have thought of doing, and it worked so well with the idea that yeah, it's in your mind and like your point of view is changing and stuff like that. So obviously the room change and stuff like that to a slightly brighter room sort of worked, and then obviously. Uh, like, like with costume changes, because I know on my part I wasn't necessarily the best of keeping continuity with outfits. But however, that was my own fault for the first time because I didn't tell you about yeah, filming as well. Tell me about the film. That was like, that was, was, was like, oh, shit. <laughs> that was the only problem. But of course, I was just there, like, shit. I thought, I thought I would have told you. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's that fine. Way. Yeah. The yeah. uh, thing I quite liked was uh, for that big long shot. Um, firstly, something I didn't really like them. Um, well, I did kind of like it, but at the same time, I didn't like it. You know, towards the end, you kind of like cut it around so that George was suddenly, like he was just there in his leather jacket with his glasses, and then suddenly he was wearing a black suit and he was just there like, would I lie to you? And then My he was- TV show. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then he was suddenly behind you. Like that was cool. That made it all seem like this was a guy in your mind that mm. was like kind of swirling around and manipulating you, really. Yeah, I agree. But there was just like a long section in like the first third that was just like you and him in this same shot and you just kind of just shouting at each other. One thing I did like about that shot was the fact that his face was completely in the shadows. Yeah. I that worked that. really well and it would have it worked better if it was like more consistent, like his face was always in shadow. Mm. Yeah. And if they weren't talking to each other like Two members of the High Council of Gallifrey arguing. <laughs> <laughs> nice reference. I didn't know the reference, but now I realise it's Doctor Who. Doctor Who, yeah. Yeah. High Council of Gallifrey. Anyway, what's your next question? Well, yeah, the bad. The bad, right, okay. Um, we just kind of did some go with the bad. Yeah, we yeah. sort of like went over all of it. I suppose uh, one of the things was that um, I suppose a lot of the shots were slightly too dark. I feel like we should have. Uh, used the change of room to our advantage a bit more and maybe made that a bit brighter. Um, and like I said, I think there should have been more like cuts to different angles. Cause yeah. Like, cause yeah, like, that, that was a definite thing, but we didn't have the time for that. So I did, I remember going and write, write that down, but that it was a mistake on my part. Like, of course, because I was getting effed over here and there because of the staff and the room booking, of course I couldn't have just done like, I had to take one take in one angle. I couldn't have moved the camera into different angles because I didn't have the time for it. Yeah. I would have if I had the time. Yeah. I also did say about it to my actors and they went down. No. Well, my actor and my well, cameraman, they both went, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, did you like the story and was it too obvious? Definitely not too obvious. No, because like, like, if anything, when you first told us about this and you said there was going to be a comedy ending where it just turned out you'd eaten a chocolate bar or something, mm -hmm. we, I thought it was just going to be, okay, this is just going to be a bit corny and a yes. bit silly. But then when you did that, you actually made it seem like he was going to bloody kill a woman or something. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I liked like it. You made, you made it seem insanely dramatic, and I'm going to be honest, I didn't really like the comedy ending that much. Like, mm. it would have been so much cooler if, there, if it just ended with total mystery. So you could just end, which doesn't know what her, and the other part's like, whoa, you don't know. See, so I, I'm the opposite. Can, yeah. I, I quite like the comedy ending. I'm glad that there was an ending rather than it just being mystery. Um, Fair uh, of course, uh, mystery has its place in a, in a lot of things, but I, I, you went in with the intentions of making it a sort of comedy ending, and you left having done that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, that. I liked the, the fact that you didn't immediately come out of your mind palace and then eat the chocolate bar. You sort of went like, like you stayed in that, that sort of depressed state for a bit in this new world and then just went, Daniel! And then just like, you look over and you're like, shit! <laughs> and then like, like oh, I'm sorry! Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it does work. Um, also, would you, um, would you two be interested if I made like a prequel or sequel to the film? Well, you know, like the first time that T apparently ruined his life by convincing him to eat someone else's candy. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I mean like something like the origin of how T was made. Sort of thing. 
Yeah. Not like how I made him, but how the character uh, was in his mind. Maybe. I suppose you'd have to make it incredibly interesting. Oh, I would. Yeah, you'd, have, you'd have to make <laughs> it a lot longer and more gradual. Yeah. I was going to make it more dramatic. Like, a guy's always been there, like, his best friend or something's always tempted him. Like, oh, come on, let's go to his party. He's like, all right. Keep saying, like, that sort of thing. And then, like, the last time... And his, he, his best friend looks like T D. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. this is more acting for you. I am his best friend. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like near the end of it, it's like T spent like his time trying to convince him for one last thing. He goes, "No, I've had enough. I'm not gonna do it." And then T dies. <gasps> and by Mel Gibson, Tom, Tom or something. Tom. Of course, he's not T or something. Nice. Like T, Tom, Tom Tation. Tom. <laughs> That's his surname. Yeah. Tation is his surname. <laughs> Tom Tation. No, no, but something like that, where like you see him like trying to persuade him to do stuff, he does it, and then when the first time he doesn't do it, he, his friend gets killed. So now he feels guilt for him, and that's why he's got um, to tem- temptations. Looks like his friend. That sort of thing. Ooh, the prequel. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Anyway, um, what could I do different next time? I. Th- think um obviously some shots uh, could be redone in different angles and stuff like that like Kale was saying mm. um i do think that would have added to it a lot i think um some audio was a bit off like some of it was muffled i think yeah. maybe if you'd have like re-recorded some of that that might be okay but then yeah. re-recording is like opening up an entire box of worms where yeah. you've got to try to make it look and sound as if it's in the, in the in the now, yeah. In the now, to yeah. make it synchronise with your lips as well, that's the horrible thing, yeah. Get a more finite schedule next time. Yes. Yes. And try to book everything like weeks in advance so that you don't have that problem of not being able to book stuff. Yeah. But yeah. at the same time, don't completely rely on that because that's what I did this year. Yeah. And I got a bit screwed over because one of my actors suddenly cancelled. Yes. Mm, fair enough. Fair enough. I, I've learned like, I'm not going to do any of that sort of thing in the college, that's why I'm going to make the other one like it's like. They're out and about in fields and shit, so that way I'm not on college grounds. I don't have to worry about them cooking shit out. I just go to random places, like free or to the public or something, or message the council saying, Can I film on these dates? and then do it. Nice. Okay, cool. Nice. Anything else? Not really. Uh, maybe like next time, your, your tone was consistent, and you, well, maybe keep like more consistent in like everything else other than tone. Like the, like the way the guy. There was two kinds of inconsistency you'd see in your thing. There was the visual kind, and there was the, I'm gonna call it the subtextual kind. And that was like the way he was talking, mm. and like the emotions and everything. Like sudden, it's like, it's like I said, with the Gallifrey and High Council thing. Like at one point they were just shouting at each other, and they were really angry, and they were swearing, and then they were just talking like they were reading it off something. So, oh, okay, so just consistency through like the tone and stuff. Like, I, if I'm angry, then I should consistently be angry. Or if, if T's angry, then he should be consistently angry. Or, or, or at least allow it to ease off naturally. Right, instead of just changing um, frame and just going, he's calm then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, that's understandable. And the other thing, yeah, I do understand the dialogue. Cause of course, I like a one part bit where it's like I'm putting my hand down my head and saying, why am I not surprised? I chopped up. The beginning of that one and then the ending of a different one. Mm. So I swapped it. If you knew when like that shift happened, that was me cutting to a different one because I think at the beginning it was like I preferred that one than the other one. But however, like George messed up at the end, so it was like one clean take. So I was like, okay, I took the ending of another one, which was but George's bad one, but my beginning was bad. Is so it, that's why I took my one and made the ending better. The glory of acting. Yes, the glory of editing. <laughs> I fixed it in post. <laughs> That's what I usually do, it's just, yeah, fix it most. That's all I could do, I could only pray and fix it most. Yeah. Anyway, thank you both. You're welcome. Yeah.